It was eight years ago today that first responders were called to this block, to that house, and in that doorway they discovered the body of Kara Lynn Hebert. The 31-year-old mother of four left behind few clues as to who was responsible for her killing, and to this day no one has been charged for her death. But today, her friends and family gathered here for a prayer walk to appeal for information about her killing and try to honor some of Winnipeg's many missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. My mom was a very, very, very beautiful soul. She had an amazing soul, a very kind, open, loving person, a very understanding. You know, I was young, you know, I was young when I lost her, so. Malik was just nine when his mother died, but it was his desire to do something that led to this prayer walk, starting at the house where his mother's body was discovered to the Manitoba legislature. The walk was spur of the moment with no permits and no permission asked, but dozens still braved the heat to remember Kara. I definitely in my heart to see that something like this was made by me and my, the people around me. It's crazy, you know, because not a lot of people put that time and effort into their loved ones. Not a lot of people took that time and effort into trying to get things done like that, you know. At the legislature, walk leaders called for justice for the missing and murdered and invited people to shout the names of other Indigenous men and women whose deaths or disappearances have not been solved. We're never going to forget the names, so uh, everybody gets a chance to shout, shout out a name of a loved one. And as you saw, uh, there were about 30, 40, 50 names shouted out here today. And, uh, and those are all humans, and they're all beautiful, loving people, and they have families left behind. And for many of them, we don't know what happened to them. As for Harb, though, he is appealing for information on his mother's killing. He also reflects on the walk as a way to bring some kind of closure. The whole point of this walk is to celebrate her life. We've, we've been mourning too long for her, you know, we've been hurting too long for her. Now it's time to live for her and, and just try to figure things out piece by piece, you know. In Winnipeg, Shaoli Lee, City News.